Hi guys, so we're back outside in the garden today. So we've literally just finished cleaning out this little guy over here. So make sure you check out that video later on of our weekly routine we have to do with him. But we're also back out here, so we're about to build another perch for Maui. A lot of people have asked about these, where we get them from, so we're about to let you know. So the stand itself is actually a DJ lighting rig. So this one particular one is a, a for well for four lights so it's a t-bar lighting stand which is lightweight if you're going to get one of these make sure you get the lightweight version and they're available on amazon for around 24 pounds and worth 32 pounds but even at 32 they are considerably cheaper than anything else you can buy it's so one of the beauties of these is that they take next to no assembly at all and also they range from 1.2 meters in height to 2.5 meters in height so 2.5 meters height might be good when we're teaching Mary how to fly down from trees, because typically macaws don't really learn how to fly downwards in the wild. It sounds mad, but they, they, they don't. So it's something that we have to go through with him at some point. But here it is, just two parts. You have the T piece there, and then the main tripod assembly, which you can see here. So we actually have three of these in the house at the moment. So two inside and one outside. So this is a new one I'm putting together just for his outdoor perch. And there goes, in my case, putting the T-bar in and then connecting it. Now, some people do trim that T-bar down. They'll take a saw to it and hacksaw it off so it is smaller and it is lighter. But we haven't done that because we're not taking these anywhere. They're not going in the car. They're simply for the garden. And I wanted the additional holes to perhaps put additional toys on and what have you. And of course, if you do cut the edges down, you will potentially leave a sharp edge. These do have plastic plugs that can go into the edges, but as you can see from the other one, Mary likes to chew those and pull them out. So I don't want any risk of any sharp edges for him. So you can see we have a couple here outside. This one we're putting together today. So the main thing you want to do is actually attach a branch to it. So be careful what branches you are using. Um, there are certain types of trees are poisonous to macaws. Um, so we make sure we use fruit trees. So Mary particularly likes apple tree. We managed to source one locally from Nanny Human's garden, which is great. So we've left this one long deliberately because again, this is his outdoor perch. Now the indoor perches, we, the branch of them are much smaller because they are in the house. We thought this would be a bit of fun. Just leave it as long as we possibly can. So it's just simply just a case of screwing this on to the T-bar piece using any one of the four assembly holes. I do want to use these two of them. So you want the flattest piece of the branch possible. You want screws that can go all the way through and make sure those screws go in from the bottom, not from the top. You don't really want your macaw or your parrot nibbling away at the metal screw piece. So we always put ours into the bottom, make sure they're flush and screw through. So I'll show you that now. And there we go, job done, nice and secure. Not only is it secure, but there's no gap between the branch and the metal post either, because again, it's don't want Maui trying to bite those screws, because I know he probably will. And there we go, so you can see this is a massive branch once again. Um, the good news is he does like playing all over it. This stays outside all the time. She gives him something different, different diameters there as well, which are good for his feet. And it's ready to go. So a couple extra holes there, which I probably will attach some toys to maybe even a food bowl, not sure yet. You can see the other one has a plastic tub attached to it, which he loves for his indoor toys. But this one, not sure. We're just gonna see how he gets on with it. One thing that is worth pointing out is actually the feet on the tripod. Now you can actually adjust these to spread right out, like I'm showing you at the moment. And this is really good when you're outdoors. When we're indoors, we have them closer together, because obviously we don't have as much space. Outdoors, we adjust them right out, because he's typically flying backwards and forwards from our hands to this perch and does hit, hit it quite hard. So just a little bit more stability on the perch there. So I think it's time to see what Maui thinks. So I think this is only his third or fourth time okay. in the garden. If you've been following along, you know, we've got a clip which I'll link above and below to when he first come out, but this is definitely the first time that he's been on a perch. And he has adjusted to it really well, really likes it. So we're now gonna use this perch to do lots of training from. So guys, I really recommend if you want a cheap perch, go to Amazon, get yourself a T-bar lighting stand, attach a piece of wood to it, and you are good to go. Thanks guys, hope you found this useful. As always, please like the video if you did, or leave a comment below regardless, and please subscribe to our channel. More videos coming weekly. All the best, take care.